The person of interest in killing a newlywed couple in Elkhorn is now the suspect. Investigators say they were killed in a robbery where the man accused walked away with less than $150. This happened at a sports bar in Elkhorn in Walworth County two weeks ago. Now at five, we will hear from the community now that someone is charged. But we begin with our Sean Gallagher, who has the latest on the investigation. For the first time, we're getting an idea of what happened inside a bar in Elkhorn earlier this month when a newlywed couple was killed. In court documents released today, it appears to be a burglary gone wrong. Call State of Wisconsin versus Thomas A. Rout. Thomas Rout appeared virtually Friday afternoon and didn't say a word for the hearing that took less than 10 minutes. But the complaint filed against him explains what happened February 1st when Gina and Emerson Weingart were killed inside Sports Page Bar. An eyewitness tells police Rout was playing a gaming machine inside the bar. After about 30 minutes, he got up and pulled a gun on the bartender, Gina Weingart. That eyewitness says after Rout shot Gina, they took off out a back door of the bar, then heard more shots ring out. The complaint says the big break in the case came from Rout himself. Three days after the murders, the sheriff's office pulled Rout over for a traffic stop. They arrested him for possession of contraband. It was while Rout was locked up, he said he wanted to speak to somebody about the murders in Elkhorn. Rout told investigators that he did all of this, more than likely for the money, which was about $120 to $140, and that he tried to hide the gun at a nearby gas station in Lake Como. Police found the gun there. Now, after more than two weeks, Jeff Weingart, Emerson's father, is glad to have someone held accountable for the death of his son and daughter-in-law. Our family went to thank Elkhorn and the surrounding communities for your acts of love, support, and kindness. From what we have seen here, there's still a lot of love in the world. Weingart's unanswered question is about why Route was able to do this. Route was released from prison in August of 2020 on parole. Finally, the press needs to do its job and use all its investigatory resources to find out why Tony Evers' administration paroled this monster who committed this brave act that took the lives of two very special, beautiful, and loving people, Gina and Emerson. The chair of the parole commission at the time was a man named John Tate, who resigned in 2022 after Governor Evers questioned a decision to parole a man who killed his estranged wife in front of their children. I've reached out to the parole commission for comment on this release and I'm waiting for a response. In Elkhorn, Sean Gallagher, TMJ4 News.